Hey, it's cruise day. And it's time for another everyday getaway cruise day. Impression. Hey, and we're going to start off here in the cabin. We um, just got to on the ship. It was easy getting over here. A lot of traffic, but it was easy. The shuttle from the hotel was really easy to get on. And it, he did a great job getting us here. They do. So we'll do a little cabin tour today. We're going to look at the ship, try to check it out. And we're looking for a great embarkation day and sail away. And we'll probably go live at some point. Yeah. All so... Right. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you can too can enjoy this cruise with us. See you soon. We stayed at the Hampton Inn and Suites Miami Airport, South Blue Lagoon. It was about 10 minutes from the airport and they did have a free shuttle. It was clean and uh, comfortable and the staff was really nice. So we had a great stay there. We left early in the morning and we did take a shuttle that was offered by the hotel. It was $14 a piece and took us to the cruise port. On the way to the port, we did a little ship spotting and here is the Carnival Horizon. She's also a beautiful ship. And there she is. I spy the MSC Seascape. Woohoo! So MSC is down in Terminal C. We were dropped off right by the luggage, uh, folks who take your luggage, and the line has formed a little bit. Last time we were here there wasn't a line, but it's not that bad, so we'll see if we can get in a few minutes early. moving pretty quickly. They do have water set up outside, so flavored waters just to cool you off, and they got the doors open so the air conditioning is rolling out, but honestly the line is moving really quickly. The line continues inside. It's moving again quickly, but that's where you go through security and it's your first check at passports and tickets. Fast, fast, fast. We were probably in that line checked in and ready to go in 15 minutes. It's almost time to get on. What time is it? It's time to get on board. It's cruise day. It's cruise day. Oh, it's getting real now. First day we did something different for lunch. We came into one of the main dining rooms and we're seated and we're just having a nice lunch. Um, sometimes the buffet gets really crowded on embarkation day. So this is nice, quiet, and uh, sounds like we got a good lunch coming. Space, the final frontier, to boldly go where no man has ever gone. We did a very quick ship tour and absolutely loved this little area where you could take some selfies and videos with the hot air balloon and in that fun tunnel. And uh, all right, let's go check out the room. Welcome to room 12262. We did book an interior room, but got let them choose the room and they gave us a balcony. So just a quick look here. Got a nice couch. One thing we've already decided that we really like is uh, the closet is stationed differently. So it's a nice size closet, but it is not in the entryway where you normally have the, the closet, but 
next to this couch. And then got a few hooks there. Bathroom, seems a little small, but we do like it that it has a glass door, not the curtain. To work the lights, you do have to have a card and we normally bring a card with us from an, an old cruise just to leave in it so that we can turn lights up on and off. This doesn't work in the ship. You have to use the current MSC ship card. And got a nice little desk area, several drawers, TV, the same nice mirror to get dressed by that we had on the other. And then Doug has got us out. Take you out to the nice balcony area. I've got a couple chairs, a little table. It's a decent sized balcony. We are facing the sun right now, so it's kind of hot out here. But this is our view from our balcony. We're above some of these rooms here that have a little bit extended balconies. And there's the city of Miami. Here's one nice thing about this room on MSC is this, you would like your room clean. You just push the little button to have them come clean it. And if you don't want it clean, you push that button and it just lights up for them out here. When you come into your room, they require you to watch your safety video. After you watch the video, they want you to dial 881. And there's a little recording that tells you to go to your assembly station and they check you in. It's kind of nice. It's quick. You don't have a bunch of people standing around. Makes it real easy. This is new for us too. MSC is really big on recycling. So the trash cans are divided up into the plastic, into paper, and food sections. We're still getting folks on the ship. The elevators midship have been very busy. We've heard that the glass elevators in the back are less used, which I don't know why. Look at that, there, that view. But we're back here. There's absolutely nobody back here right now. So. We're headed up to the Bridge of Size. Can't wait. These oh, elevators are amazing, and there it is, the Bridge of Size. I can't Deck wait. 16. is on deck 16 aft and it is a glass uh, <laughs> a walkway that looks down on a lot of the other decks and across the back. I'm afraid of heights but I have so looked forward to doing this. So here we go. You can go with me. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Look at this view. It's gorgeous. So this is the view from the Bridge of Size. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I will say I've enjoyed walking on it, but I really cannot look down. <laughs> if I look down through the glass, I do get a little queasy. So there we go. Okay, Tammy's doing it. I'm doing it. I just can't look down. <laughs> With that we're off if you didn't get a chance to join us for for the live we will go ahead and link that in the description and you can check out the full live because we did a live we didn't join up with the sail away party but spent the time just sharing with you this beautiful port and uh, our getting ready to take off you look back over the city it's a great skyline a little bit of traffic but what a beautiful day for a cruise and uh, let's get going
sunset tonight. The ocean is so calm and peaceful. This is the second bridge or walkway that is see-through. It's lower, it's on level, I believe we're on six. It's the infinity bridge. Okay, so then we finished the night up at the show called Imagine Ocean. Imagine Ocean. That's right. <laughs> and the audience loved it. They really seemed to enjoy it. What were your thoughts? I thought the singers did a great job. There were lots of aerialists, and we really enjoyed the aerialists. They had couples do an aerial acts, and then they had some singles. So it was a yeah, lot that's of... that's probably my favorite part, right. too. And then they had the little ocean puppets going around with the dancers that kind of reminded me of the Nemo ride at... I mean, the Nemo show at... Um, in Disney. That's right. Uh, me too. Um, so let's put in a couple of clips right here and you can just, we'll share a little bit of the show with you. Here we go. Well, as you just heard, my name is Neil. I'm your cruise director here on board the beautiful MSC Sky Bank, all the way from the United Kingdom. <laughs> Today was a pretty good day. It was. We started off at the Hampton Inn in the Blue Lagoon. I'd highly recommend it if you're coming here for a cruise to Miami. Um, it was really easy to get to from the airport. They picked us up pretty quickly, I thought. And then we could get a shuttle over to the cruise. Right. It was also close to a Publix, a CVS, a Walgreens, and then some other and, restaurants. So. And a nice Cuban restaurant. We didn't eat there this time, but we have eaten there. And um, I'll try to get the name of that restaurant because I would recommend that one too. Right. But overall from the hotel to here, we had a, a there was a lot of traffic, but our driver did a great job. Our embarkation process was simple. Fast. They clapped us on, which I've never had. Really and I loved that. And then we spent the day uh, just trying to figure out the ship. Start out with a really nice lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, spent the afternoon just trying to figure out things and where things are those first day things right and this is a bigger ship than we i guess expected i know it's a big ship but this is it's big so it's just hard to find things so we're we're learning had a good dinner mm -hmm. uh the prime rib was probably my favorite thing so far so far today um i think the food's been pretty good yeah it has and my favorite thing of the day to eat was probably at lunch i had this um it was a vegetarian chili bowl and it was really good. It was just really spicy, um, but I really liked it. Too spicy. It was good, but it was spicy. It I couldn't spicy. finish it. But that it was delicious. And what was your favorite thing today? Uh, part of the, um, just getting to know a new ship. There you go. My favorite thing that we did today was the Bridge of Size. I've been looking for that, and that was absolutely gorgeous. So I can't wait to do that over and over again this week. So we finished the night going to the show Imagine Ocean. Um, it was about 35 minutes long. 
Um, it was real, a lot of activity. The crowd seemed to really like it. All right, the singers did a good job, and there were aerialists, which I enjoyed the aerialists. And we're going to go to another aerial show tomorrow night, which I think that'll be really good, too. Right, so uh, after that, we just <laughs> got some ice cream because we hadn't had cruise ice cream yet. So we got a little ice cream, and uh, I will say... Um, the ice was and, and drinks were kind of hard to find tonight. So we got our um, cabin steward to get us a, um, a carafe of ice, which has been nice. But that's kind of been our day. It's been a great day. We look forward to a great cruise. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, and tomorrow's a sea day, so join us for some sea day fun. There you go. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others. And we'll see you soon. Hey, bye-bye. Bye-bye.